As of today, Entry Point has officially reached 1 million favorites on Roblox, which is a pretty big deal. Thus, I felt like I should take this moment to review some other statistics as well. EP is what I would call a middle tier game on Roblox. It has a pretty large and consistent player base, though it's definitely not as popular as games like Adopt Me. As of making this video, EP has existed for 1,585 days and has received 170.8 million visits. Out of those visits, 159,000 were just in the last 24 hours. The game has a rating of about 90.57%, which is really good for a free game. When it comes to revenue, it's impossible to know exactly because Roblox doesn't make those statistics public. However, according to an estimate, EP has generated approximately 29.3 million Robux, which translates to about 100,000 US dollars. Overall, these numbers are pretty impressive, though I still feel like EP deserves more popularity. Anyway, let's talk more about the player base. About 7.5 million people have earned the Black Dawn badge, which you get by creating an operative. Surprisingly, only 15.2% of players earn this badge. This means that EP has had a total of about 50 million unique players, most of whom never even created the character. If you divide the number of visits by the number of unique players, then you get that the average player has visited EP 3.4 times. The issue with this number is that it includes lots of players who clicked play and then left without really doing anything. If you assume that every player who did not create an operative only visited the game once, then you get that the average player with an operative has played 17 times. Considering that there's quite a few outliers like me who have played the game thousands of times, the median number of visits is likely a bit less than 17. Considering the number of players, most of the badges are actually really rare. Out of all the players who created an operative, 19% beat the deposit on Rookie, 1.9% beat the deposit on Operative Stealth, and only 0.34% beat the deposit on Legend Stealth with no kills. The rarest badge by far is the Iron Man Legend badge, which has only been earned by 1,757 players. If you have this badge, then you're actually in the top 0.0233% of all EP players who created an operative. This makes completing Iron Man Legend a seriously rare accomplishment. I feel like it's important to point this out because a lot of people have a distorted image of what it means to be an average player in Entry Point. There's a few really good players in the community who play almost exclusively with other really good players, which makes them overestimate the average player. I kid you not, there's people who actually think that if you can't even do Iron Man Legend loud with frontline armor, then you must be way below average, which is laughably wrong. The reality is that most EP players are people who try out the game for a bit and drop it a few minutes later. Even out of those who actually complete missions, most of them stick to lower difficulties. From all these data, you can draw two main conclusions. The first is that EP consistently gets a lot of new players, and the second is that most of these players don't get very invested into the game before losing interest. This sort of thing happens in a lot of games. It's not uncommon for someone to try out a game, not like it, and leave. However, I also think part of the reason is that EP in particular is a difficult game to pick up. There are a lot of different game mechanics to worry about, which can be really intimidating for a new player with no prior knowledge. Without a guide to start you off, getting good at EP takes a lot of trial and error, and most players aren't willing to put in the effort. For me, my main takeaway is that I should probably make another beginner-oriented guide to help new players have a smoother transition into the community. Overall, I found these statistics really interesting. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.